What's going on, fight fans? This is the MMA Encyclopedia. George Kennebrew here with MMAMayhemRadio.com. This interview is being brought to you by Unique Kennels. We are here, Warfare 12, Rise of the Champions, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And I am standing here with Ronald. Choirboard Stallings. My man came out and did his B-Hop impersonation. Hit him with the liver shot. Hit him with the hot sauce. Right to the gut. Explain to me what went behind that, man. I like I like, I like, like the B-Hop analogy. I'm more of a uh, Guillermo Rigondeau oh. uh, follower. And that's, that's something that he does. I watch him a lot. So that's something he'll do. Sit up top and come to the liver with the, with the left hand. So you know, that's what uh, inspiration came from that one. Now you and, and Josh were in there slugging it out, and, and, and it looked like you know he was kind of getting the best of you. But but just that wheel, I, I saw you in there before you went in the cage. You, you had to call on him real quick. Oh yeah. And and oh, yeah. and I, I and he came through for you. Oh yeah. So oh. tell tell me what it was like in the midst of that slugfest, man. I, I'm not ashamed to say that I call on the Lord for everything. I asked him for a victory just because I need him for everything. That's so right. even. Even in winning or at a feed, I, I just need him, so I called on him, and I called on him today. That's right. Uh, and he, he favored me today uh, with the win. Not to say that God doesn't love uh, Josh, you know. Just I just got the win today. That's but right. Josh is a, a, a heck of a fighter. Uh, with only two professional fights, mm -hmm. he's going to be problems. I look forward to seeing him again uh, in the UFC uh, or Bellator, or wherever, whatever top organizations. You know, he was he was surprising me with a lot of stuff. He was strong. Right. He was extremely strong. They said he was strong. I got the report right. that he was strong. But to feel him, it was like, you know, if I if I went try to lock horns, I felt I would have I would have gassed out and I would have been done, from you know from the jump. So I had to kind of coach myself. Right. But he caught me with some good stuff, and, and I just had to dig deep. You know, I've been doing this for a long time, I've been practicing my craft, and, uh, and the champion came out tonight. You know, I had to dig deep and get that champion out, so I come out of victory. I didn't come down here to lose. You know, a lot of people sacrificed with me That's to right. get me here. So you know, uh, giving up or, or not giving up my all is not an option. So. We, yeah, I, I dig deep and get to get the stoppage. Now you talking about last thing I want to ask. You talking about Josh seeing Josh in the UFC. What's the future hold for you? Will we see you oh, in the UFC? No, no, that's what I mean. I'm gonna see him across a uh, cage again. Oh, so y'all gonna do it again? Yeah, we're in gonna do the it UFC. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Fighters like that. Fighters like us need right. to go ahead and put on a show. We put on a show tonight. Right. We put on a show, and uh, 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 we on with his skill set. Uh -huh. What he has already at two fights. All right. Yeah, he's gonna be in the UFC. I'm gonna be in the UFC. We, we're gonna we're gonna do this again. Okay. Okay, now, now, now one last thing, man. Now, you know, you and I, we, we got a little thing in common. Yeah. You, you know, we both got musical gifts. Oh, yeah. You know, I heard you play keys. Yeah. I play set. You know okay. what I'm saying? And, and, and one day, I just, I just want to know, could you fly me up to the DMV at your church and let me fill in? I tell you what, when I get that contract and get the knockout bonuses, I'm going to do that for you, man. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Just talk to your pastor. We'll sit down with the pastor. We'll figure out what the budget is. Okay. And, and stuff like that. Hey, well, if you come up, my brother's going to have to be an auxiliary. He's going to have to get on the keys. You mind that, Joey? You going to auxiliary? All right, so he's right. the key, he's the one that plays the drums. We're, we're going to start about two or three praise breaks, so, you okay. know, it's, it's going right. to be all good. A flat, please. All right. Okay. All right. I, I prefer B, but you oh, can put me, B. B. We'll put, me put me in A. Right, we'll, we'll put me in A. We'll put me in A. We'll put me in A. Have them speaking in tongues and everything. All right. But uh, anyway, <laughs> this has been MMA Mayhem Radio.com, man. This is Ronald the Choir Boy Stallings. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, and this interview has also been brought to you by Blue Energy Drink. Don't forget to go check them out. Blue for Life, USA.com. Quiet boy. Hey, okay. I need I need help, man. I need people to get on Twitter, Quiet Boy MMA, at Quiet Boy MMA. Okay. And and help me get into the UFC campaign. Tag me. Tag UFC. Tag Dana White. Tag anybody. Tell them the, you see uh, eight, uh, 85 or a middleweight that can handle business and needs to be in the UFC. So all all the people watching, go, come hit me uh, hit me up on Twitter and uh, help me get there. You he heard him. Help. You heard him. Help him get there. Or if you don't, we're going to have his mask choir come and sing some loose vibrata in your ear. We out of here.